Can you discern between evil and good? <laughs> Don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. At least they're all right. Please, just stay out of my way. Surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister his love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. Ruvik's trying to take control of him. Maybe I can stop him. Holy 
shit. Maybe I can stop Ruvik then. Leslie, where are you? I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Reuben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. There were plans for another STEM prototype. Data about using receptors to transmit the brain function wirelessly to unaware users. It's borderline parapsychology, but these schematics and the scientific backup provided seem sound. What was he planning to do with such a thing? There's only one way to find out for certain, but I must continue these experiments in private, away from their prying eyes. I will not let them know lest they take this from me as well.
What was that about? Oh god, more of them. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I hope. Not safe. Hurry! This way! Bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie.
Leslie can go home? Can take the train all the way home? No, Leslie. Not today. You'll... protect me? Yes. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be... surprised. You don't understand. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. Ruvik is a corpse! He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Don't patronize me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... Shit. He's too far gone. I've got to stop him.
Answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What could no. haunt you so? Shut up! What could you Get need that only way? <sighs> are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? After what you did to him, now all of this is just conjecture. But it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in STEM all along. Well, he's not gonna get me. But why Leslie? What makes him special? Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Reuben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Reuben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. Patient with our progress and demand briefings on the development process. At first stressing the results, but now they work off a timeline based on their needs. Typical bureaucrats. I've been pushing Reuben, but he's retreated further, doing his research at home and refusing to come to the lab unless it's directly working on our STEM prototype. I am feeling uneasy, and no doubt Mobius is looking on us with question. someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Reuben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some... Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we... we can't even be sure they can come back. Then it will need to be someone... expendable. Expendable? So that's how you see me. And I trusted you. <laughs>
Sebastian was here? Enough of this shit.
simple mission, but still, you act out. Thankfully for us, there's always a backup plan. Not everything we give you is for your benefit. The infusion. What did you put in me? We needed to know if one of us could survive in the system. But we're not about to risk anyone of value. You were sent to carry us in with you. So here I am. No. It's Rubik. He's making all of this. up your sleeve. Whoa, now! That's a big syringe. Don't think you're putting that fucking thing in me. Miss Kidman, you agree to this. Don't forget that. Nothing we're doing is malicious. It's only proper protocol. You know what's proper protocol? Telling the person getting the fucking shot where the hell she is and what's the fucking point. Ow! Damn it! That hurt! Hey, guys, what the fuck? Is anyone there? You give me a shot, then just let this weird video play on repeat? Some great fucking medical science you've got going on here. About damn time. All right, can I go now? Not right now, Miss Kidman. How are you feeling? Any headaches? Nosebleeds, perhaps? What? No. But I do feel a little floaty. Almost like I'm underwater. That's consistent with the effects of the compound. We just have one last part of this test to partake in. Then you will be free to go. Sure. Go for it, I guess. Good. I will now ask you a series of questions. You will answer them while watching the images in front of you. You will not look away from the screen. Do you understand? Yes. Question number one. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? of your own free will. We were the only ones who cared. The ones who took you from your useless life. We gave you a reason to exist. And how did you thank us? By destroying our work? Where will you go when you leave us, kid? Who will have you? Why would you abandon the cause? Who are you trying to save? A world that didn't care about you. Thank <laughs> you. 
How? But they know everything. They even know about Leslie. There's no use hiding this anymore. I'll enter the system and my return will be proof that all of this was worth it. I can, of course, convince them that it wasn't for me. It was for their goals. There are just the final tweaks left. Once I finish, I will put Leslie in the stem with myself and activate it. The wireless signal should ring out in the near distance. I can't speak for those unfortunate to be around, but like I always said, the ends will justify the means. Finally, Mobius will see that I am one of their chosen ones. Reuben is but a ghost. I am their savior. Their plan is nothing without me. Answer our questions. Is it out of fear? Fear is such a subtle thing. But when one experiences true fear, is when they can be controlled. They can be molded. STEM is an abortion, a machine designed on the premise of fear. But in a sense, it is perfect for what we hope to achieve. You will be the first. You will bow under this fear, or you will die. You will serve as an example for what we will become. Leslie, wait! Don't go in there! This is me. I'm connected. Just like everyone else. I'm getting out of here.
Sebastian. Get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... It doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Ruvik. He's the one that... None of this is real. You aren't real. You want to believe that, but I'm right here. I've been with you this whole time. This world is a nightmare. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. That just shows how little you understand. You should be very afraid. We have you, kid. And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. You fulfilled what little use you have. This world is a prison for you to run in. Fuck you. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here.
It's a shame you'll never see what we accomplished. You don't know me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you sure enough in yourself? Sure enough to face the responsibilities of your actions? Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. How long has it been? 37 minutes since the first pulse. How did we get here? What are you talking about? Uh, just give me a minute. I need to get Myra. my head straight. Myra, we need you back here. All right, but we've got word he wants a debriefing as soon as you get back. to the real world, Sebastian. I hope you find what you're looking for. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one is. 